We just got some new yarn called Punk Rock Unicorn. Yeah, it speaks for itself. It's out of control in neons and these oil spilled variegated kinds of colors. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite colors and we're gonna look at color combinations and some project ideas on what we can knit with this new yarn. So Punk Rock Unicorn is dyed in Germany and it's made of 85% superwash merino and 15% nylon. So we picked the base called Soul, which is fingering weight, and you can knit it with socks, shawls, sweaters. It's a really good sock yarn because it has that 15% nylon in it and it feels like velvet. So there's a lot of yardage in here. It's your standard 100 gram skein. So you get about 437 yards or 400 meters in each one. But I loved picking out this base because it's plied and it's got like a tight twist to it, but it's still light and fluffy and buttery. So when you feel this base, it really has that soft merino velvet kind of feeling to it where the yarns are spun tightly to give you that bounce and structure for your stitches, but it's really cloudy and squidgy, squishy, soft. So it really soaks up the color and just take a look at all of these beautiful shades. I laid them out with all these neon solids down at the bottom and we get into some gritty, grungy, dark tones. And I put colors above each of these bottom colors to kind of coordinate. Because what I love about this palette is you get the busy multicolors and the bright solids, which make it perfect for color work slip stitches, some crazy socks. So let's take a look at some of my favorite combinations. This just immediately spoke to me because I love the light creaminess and orange and turquoise are forever the best combination. They're such good complementary co colors. And this colorway is called Goa, G-O-A. And I, I liked this colorway with the coordinating rusty colorway. This one's called Fuchs and it's a beautiful semi-solid orange. We also have this deeper orange. This one's called Maroni, and it's slightly speckled and a bit more shadowy. But I love this rusty orange colorway, and I would even put this Aqua. This colorway is called Bright Aqua, and these three together I think would make the most beautiful shawl, like a dotted rays or a doodler shawl or even a striped Aceon, that would be a beautiful lacy shawl. So just three skeins would make a really beautiful medium-sized shawl. And one of my other favorite combinations was this really black colorway. This is called Loki, and it's black with the turquoise, and I would put that with the bright aqua as well. And if you wanna add a little more contrast, maybe we could add a light color to it. This one's called Monkey Biz, and I think that would be a beautiful three skein shawl. And these variegated types of colors, this is another one that's just out of control. This one's called Dirty Neon, and this would just be perfect for a pair of socks. One skein, you're gonna get that variegated, splashy, speckled fabric, and it's just so addicting to watch the colors change. This is one of my other favorite colors called Spilled Oil, and I just love yarns like this because they have so many tones you can play off of. You've got the aqua, this grungy gold, purple, lavender. So I'm just gonna grab some other colors that I see in this inspiration skein. And look at that, we already have a palette that would be beautiful for a Vertices Unite or a Shawlography shawl. So what do we have here? This is called Black Ice. It's a really saturated turquoise teal kind of color. Honig. I believe that's honey in German, is a gold with really beautiful deep shadowy tones. This is Clematis, a very electric purple. If you love purple, this one like jumps out of the skein and it has these like neon pink undertones to it. And then the lavender color is called Fleeter. So those are beautiful semi-solids that kind of echo that spilled oil vibe going on there. Oh, look at that, there's even some green happening. I just love these shadowy, moody types of colors. They give really good contrast. So that's a really fun, neutral with a pop kind of color palette vibe. Now down here we have a lot of neons. So one project I think that would be really cool with these uh, fingering weight yarns. So this is the Soul Base 
punk rock unicorn soul. I think you could do some really cool color pops for a painting honeycombs shawl and just get in a few, could get a few neons and put those with a main color. You could go like really dark with the main color or maybe really bright with this silver. This one's called Sage. It's a really soft, silvery, neutral gray. And then these neons are just a blast of inspiration. This colorway is called Watermelon, and this one is called Sunny, and this is Bright Aqua again. So Watermelon, this one I was really attracted to because when I first saw this, it was like a neon reddy, but also pinky coral. It's got kind of red, pink, and coral tones to it. And I've never seen a shade quite like it. It's super saturated, but definitely leans more into that like red neon side, which I don't see as much of. I'm used to seeing all these pink neons, which I love, but we don't really have this like saturated coral neon on our walls. So I'm really happy to have new colors that we don't have anywhere else in the yarn shop at Stephen and Penelope. And watermelon, I think, needs to become some like really vibrant slip stitch shawl in my future. So that's watermelon, and I loved seeing it next to this splashy speckled multicolor. This one's called Firecracker, and I think this would just be stunning as a really warm, juicy colored shawl. And maybe I'd put this neon peach with it, and maybe even into that rusty orange. I think that would be a rad exploration station shawl or a winter lights shawl. So that would be a really big shawl size with four skeins. Maybe with the gold. No, oh, I really like that orange. Go pink. Ooh, that's fun too. Coral, orange, peachy pinks. I mean, we could do all of them. Why not? <laughs> that's what I do when I put color palettes together. I just start kind of with the inspiration and what goes with it, but I can't help myself. And I just like keep adding colors and then you just get this really splashy, fun vibe. I mean, even all of these warm tones would just look so rocking next to each other. So I can't wait to see what you do with this color palette. So if you have some of favorite colors that you're seeing here, I'd love for you to comment down below and let me know what you like most about this color palette. There's so much to lean into and pull from. If you love the crazy brights, then just embrace those solids and do a painting honeycombs shawl or even a botanic shawl would be really cool. This is one of my easiest knitting shawls where you just do a slip stitch and it's a sideways triangle that you can make as big as you want. So get a main color, two skeins of the main color. Maybe I want it pretty light. I'll do this unicorn hair color, this white with these speckles, and you could do your accent color stripes for the botanic shawl with all of these beautiful soft pastel neons. That would be really fun. So that's the botanic shawl, um, really, really easy, and it's a really customizable shawl size but two skeins is what you need for the main color. Two skeins of the same color, and then you could mix in some stripes and color pops for the contrast colors. So I wanna feature, we have these rockin' neons and these gorgeous like mermaid colors. This one's called Bali Beach and Bikini Bottom. Really fun, look at that. That would make a really cool three skein fade. So you have these busy, bright multicolors, but I also wanna show off how moody and neutral that you can make color palettes with this yarn. So we had that spill the whale, which was quite moody, but there's some really subtle neutrals and these could become really shadowy and dynamic in another uh, slip stitch shawl like the painting honeycombs, or maybe you could mix them up for a dotted raise. This one's called black gold and it's a really soft gray uh, with some light silver streaks to it. This one's called Silver Bells. It's a really cold gray, kind of an asphalt concrete gray, but it has these warm rusty moments and speckles. So that could be really fun to lean into that rust colorway, the Maroni, or you could even put it with this truffle. I think that would be a really rich earthy combination for a doodler shawl or a dotted raise. And then these other shades are really soft and subtle. So we have the black gold like I had before, and I really like that color with boudoir. These are really subtle, really shadowy, just color tints 
They're not too in your face like the neons, but they give that really sophisticated glow to the fabric. And this other neutral is called Houdini. It's a, more of a warm gray, kind of a beigey gray with blue and subtle pur purple speckles. But I just love how those pinky purple moments play off of the boudoir. So I think that would make a really fun palette start. Black gold, boudoir, Houdini. Maybe mix it up with a little bit of sage if you want a bigger shawl. But yeah, a lot, a lot that you can do with this palette. And if you're feeling spicy, then throw in a bright pop like that neon peach. I think this is really exciting. And this is the type of color palette that I would knit with. You got these moody neutrals, really sophisticated, but I need the pop to make them stand out a little bit more. So I think I would do that for an exploration station shawl. That would be really fun to see how that bright neon peach blends and contrasts with the moody neutrals. So that's exciting. I can't wait to knit with this yarn and maybe do some socks with it too. I've been on a real sock kick and I just finished a pair of socks and I already cast on another. So I have my eye on some of these multicolors like the spilled oil and that uh, dirty neon colorway. I just can't wait to see what that looks like knit up. And anytime you see these variegated types of colors, this one's called coated this neutral with the orange. Anytime you see these variegated colors in the skeins, they're really exciting, but what do you knit with them? My solution is to always mix them with a solid. So I'll pick out a color from them, and there's a little bit of purple in that coated colorway, and I'm gonna put that clematis with it. And that would just be an awesome two color shawl, like a daybreak shawl or a botanic shawl. So that would be really fun to break up those variegated colors. Or if you just collect one skein of those crazy yarns, it's great for a pair of socks. Or you could do a little hat or a really small shawl, like a little herbivore one skein shawl would be really cute with that. Well, I'm really inspired and I just can't wait to knit up some new socks and shawls. So comment down below what your favorite color is. And if you got inspired by some of these colors, you can find them at stevenandpenelope.com. And we'll keep on playing with this yarn and doing more yarn features like this. So check out that link to get the yarn in the link section down below at the bottom of this video. And I'll see you in the next one.